Dude, what the heck is with musicians? Here's a apparently prehistoric hippopotamus type character that's named after Mick Jagger. Jagger Merrick's Nida. Great. There's an extinct hippo named after Mick Jagger. Now we know. Hey there, I'm Charlie. All right, so you're a famous, you're a famous zoologist, right? And you discover a new species of animal or plant or mite or bacteria or something like that. Now you have the opportunity to name it whatever you want. Literally, you are in charge. No one can tell you to name it something different. Some people name them very logical scientific things, and some people just go off the rails and do whatever the heck they want, and that's when things get fun. So that's what we're gonna look up today, some of the some extremely odd and interesting scientific names for animals. So in general, plants, animals, all that stuff, they have two different types of names. They have common names, which are the everyday, ordinary names that we refer to them as, and scientific names, which are Latin names that scientists usually refer to them as. Today we're gonna be checking out those Latin scientific names. But let's get into it, man. Let's, let's look at some of this ridiculous stuff and see what's going on. Okay, here's a great one. Here's a fairy fly discovered in Costa Rica named Tinkerbella Nine. After Tinkerbell, we have a, a tiny little crustacean named after Godzilla, Godzilla. Here's an arachnid that was named Draculoides, Bram Stokery, Dra after Dracula. Love that one. Lay your eyes on this bad boy. This this is an octopus called Wonderpus Photogenicus. That is a great name. Octosynclus Batmani after Batman. Scaptia Beyoncé. It's it's a, a rare species of horsefly named after Beyoncé. What the heck is this? <laughs> Dude, I love this one. All right. So um, if you know how, how taxonomy works, animals, plants, they have uh, different like like stages of names. You might remember kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. Uh, it turns out Lady Gaga has an entire genus of ferns named after her. So like a whole bunch of ferns are in the Gaga genus. Dude, this is great. So the whole thought behind this is there's a, a biology professor at Duke University who thought a lot of these ferns had characteristics of Lady Gaga costumes. For example, here's this, this weird heart-shaped one, apparently, in her mind, kind of uh, resembled this costume that Lady Gaga wore. So uh, she's like, yeah, we're gonna name all of these after Lady Gaga. Enough with the celebrities, right? We've had enough, we've had enough singers. Dude, this looks like a hock of ham, but it's actually the skull of a dinosaur. Use your imagination. Italian paleontologist saw this. It's got a weird bump on it. I don't know where the bump is. It just says it's got a weird bump on it. So it was named Soraniops Pachitholis in reference to Solron, the quote, evil entity in the Lord of the Rings saga. I think Solron is that eye on the top of that that big spike. I'm not into Lord of the Rings. Sue me, okay? All right, we have a reddish purple worm named Yoda Purpurata. So that's cool. Someone named a purple worm after Yoda. Here's a trilobite named Han Solo. That's it. They didn't even bother throwing that little Latin spice on it. They just called it Han Solo. Metachloria mitochondriae is a bacteria. So a tiny little bacteria is called Metachloria mitochondriae after the Metachlorians. What's with these nerd references? <laughs> I am an enormous nerd myself. It's so expected. Come on. Midichloria, mitochondriae, naming something after midichlorians in Star Wars. We could do better than that. Hey, we got a uh, we got a little Harry Potter reference in here, right? Here's a dinosaur named after Hogwarts. The Drakorix Hogwartsiae. Might not be that big of a fan of Star Wars or Lord of the Rings. However, if we're talking Harry Potter, I'm on board. Harry Potter is better than Lord of the Rings. I'm taking that one to my grave, boys. Come at me. <laughs> at the end, we're just gonna throw some ridiculous Latin names. I love scientific names, right? Oh, what's that? What's that bird off in the distance? Oh, that that's just a that's a Turtus Maximus right there. Yeah, just a good old Turtus Maximus. Oh, is that a warbling robin? Is that a the wandering warble of a robin, aka a Turtus migratorius? So a migrating Turtus. Oh, and finally. That's, what's that other bird that's chirping back there? It's so loud. Oh, you're talking about the, the Puspiza hydrochondria, right? Ah, it's another Puspiza. I should have known. Those Puspizas are always chirping back there. Dude, what an honor. The people who are naming these things are a little insane. They're, they're just like, they're just like a little crazy. This is like your entire life's work coming to this one thing and you name it after a celebrity. I'd name it after something awesome or ridiculous or strange, like a dump truck beetle or something like that. It's a fun name, not a Lady Gaga genus. 
But to be on the receiving end of that, that'd be one of the most impressive things you could ever tell me. If you met me and you're like, yeah, they're like a bunch of jellyfish named after me. I would be so impressed. But uh, yeah, thanks for doing some research with me today. I had fun looking through this stuff. Hope you're having a good one. Ta-ta.